Well, 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 we are back once again doing another Team Fortress 2 unboxing. And this time is for the newly released Smithmas 2023 cosmetic case. You can find out my reaction to all the cosmetics in my previous video, where I just give a you know, a quick ranking of every cosmetic. There are some very nice ones. I'll let you in on a little secret there. But first, before we do that, we're going to take a look at what's in my Smithmas stocking. Um, usually we have some pretty nice things in here, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what we get. Come on. Can't get an unusual, but that would be nice. Okay, gift of port. Yep, fair. Description tag, name tag, all good things. The Wrangler, backpack expander, some grey paint, the Smith Smith Meta warm paint, Tide Turn, and the hot hand. Okay, it's nice that they do this every year. And I imagine if you're a new player, like we all once were, then a Smith Smith stocking would actually be very nice because it could give you some lovely weapons. You know, you can name your weapon, put a little description on it, expand your backpack, and also we get the same war paint every year, which <laughs> kind of diminishes it, I won't lie. I mean, as you can see, I have quite a few Smith Smith sweater warm paints, and I even used the first one I got on a black box. We've also got a Manco store package because we spent some money in the Manco store, so we'll see what's in there as well. The Natasha. Okay, lovely. So now that all that's out of the way, we can finally get into the, the real crux of this video, what I think everyone's here for, and that is these lovely cases, the Winter 2023 Cosmetics case. So yeah, we're going to start off with the first one. So let's see what's in store. Shall we? Okay, bigger man on campus. Not great, not terrible, but there was a new unboxing sound there. I don't know if you could hear those like festive bells in the background, which was actually quite a, a nice touch that I did not expect. Have they been doing that for the past ones? I don't think they have. I think this might be the first time they've added unique unboxing effects. Didn't really expect that, but we're going to move swiftly on anyway to number two. Yeah, just listen. You can hear the little, little bells in the background. I've got the sleuth suit, which is actually one I was looking for. So I will take that. Um, I believe it's an engineer cosmetic. Yep. So we'll see if we can work that into a loadout, but it does look very nice. And yeah, we're just going to move swiftly on to number three. I do like the bells. They are nice. Oh, the nightcap as well. A distinct lack of multiple items in this case. Um, I'm not sure if they've changed the rates, because I remember back in the Halloween unboxing, I did get quite a few, so... Maybe they've changed the rates of how many items you can get to just make it more rare to get multiple items. I'm not sure. I'm just waffling. Anyway, on to number four. And we got the sniper jacket as well. Lovely stuff. I do like that as well. So we'll see if we can work into a loadout. But as I mentioned in the last video, my main issue is I already like the loadouts I've created for pretty much most of the classes. So working these into a loadout that I already like is going to be quite tough. But they do look nice. So we'll see if we can do it anyway. As we move on to number five, we're a third of the way through. 15 cases. Oh! Torture's trench coat again. Another very nice cosmetic that I was looking to unbox. I think it's the best of the set they added for the Pyro, so I'm very happy with that. I, th I have a few places I think I can work it into, so this one's probably going to be the, the easiest one for me to utilize. But these three jackets, coats, whatever you want to call them, are very nice. I mean, tf 2 has been having a, a theme of very nice coat cosmetics recently. Like this year alone, we've had at least four or five very nice coat cosmetics, and then last year as well, I believe we had some as well. So I'm, I mean, I'm all here for it, but it just means it makes it harder for me to make a loadout. As we go into number six with multiple items, the first one is a gift wrap, and the second one is the soldier coat. <laughs> nice. This is this is good, man. Gift wrap's always nice, and then. This soldier coat also looks lovely, so we're doing well in the unboxes. If I just swap these two over, like, <laughs> look at this. This is a very good set of four unboxes there, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And gift wrap's also nice to send items to people or get them signed. If you if people are still into that, I don't know. We haven't, I don't really see that much anymore. Festivizer, love that. Dueling mini game as well, love that. And then we get the spy suit as well, the Strasbourg Scholar. Now I'm always all I'm all for a festivizer. They're very cool. The Strasbourg Sleuth is also very nice. Not really a fan of the dueling mini game. I don't really do duels in TF2, so maybe that's just me. Um, I've got quite a few of those that I've just not used, so <laughs> they're kind of wasted in my inventory to be honest. But if anyone wants them, I'll, I'll happily send them your way. As we get the covert covers, a very nice cosmetic. I don't know who this is for. It's for spy. Okay, fair. I thought it could be for medic, but spy works as well. As we move on to number nine, case number nine. 
Anything nice? Oh, we get the Scout Puffer Jacket. Fair enough. It's an alright cosmetic. I do like it, but I just don't see where I can work it into a loadout, to be honest. I mean, I will try, as with all of these or most of these cosmetics, but this one I'm a bit, a bit iffy on whether I can um, work it in or not as we move on to case number 10. Two thirds of the way through now. And no unusual yet. Oh! Yeah, oh, it's strange as well. That's even better. I was I was praying for this one. Hopefully I can look as fresh as the Pope did. But that is a very nice medic cosmetic. And I'm definitely going to try and get that into a loadout. At least one. We're just going to look fresh as we move on to number 11. The Impact Impaler. Not one I was particularly looking for. But it does look nice, I will admit. I don't think I'll use it, to be honest. Um, I've already got the... Oh, what you call it the proof of purchase i've already got the proof of purchase and i don't think i'll be changing that out anytime soon so it's a nice cosmetic but i don't really think i'll get any use out of it as we move on to number 12 make sure i can still count two items again lovely stuff okay okay clue hairdo nice nice and a festivizer as well can't really fault it i mean you can fault it one of the one of those could have been un unusual but you know we move okay Ah, it's the demo, demo pajamas. I, I, I've said I wasn't really a fan of that cosmetic set, and I'm, um, I'm just not. It's just not for me. It doesn't fit the vibe I'd normally go with with my TF2 loadout. So, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll, mo we'll move swiftly on to the penultimate case. Actually, a very little unusual action in my unboxing today, which is not great. I won't lie. I've looked at the unusual effects, and they are very nice. So, if I could get one, that'd be lovely. But, you know, I don't know if Santa is on my side. Ooh, revenge kills. I like that. The Wanderer's Wall. Okay. Again, a cosmetic I wasn't really a fan of, to be honest. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, we'll see how it looks, but I probably won't be using it that much, to be honest. And then we move on to the final case. And now I hope St. Nicholas is watching. I've got a tree here. Oh, wow! St. Nick, please bestow upon me a funny purple text tf2 hat with the particle effects not just a purple quality like i'd love one of those if one could land in my lap i'd be much appreciative of that i know i've received quite a few unusuals recently and that may have swung my look onto the other other side of the pendulum but uh hey if i could get a new unusual with a new effect i'd be very very happy boy let's have a look at case 15. i'm gonna close my eyes for this one Vulcan Spirit, okay, it's not an unusual, but uh, we'll go next. A festivizer, okay. <laughs> My calls to St. Nick didn't work. Um, it was a long shot. You don't really contact that, Donny. All in all, not that bad of a unbox, to be honest. I'm very happy with most of the items I've got, to be fair. You know, these coats, the medic coat, the NG head is actually quite nice. So yeah, we didn't actually do too bad. That's not a bad... I mean, we didn't get any of the pinks and the reds, which is kind of a shame, but... They weren't actually that good, to be fair. <laughs> I'm saying this like I'm, I'm on copium, but no, the only really good cosmetic in that set I haven't got was the scruffed and stitched, so I'm not too sad with the cosmetics I got. Especially this coat in a strange, because it looks phenomenal. That's not too bad. It's not really a cosmetic I'd use. Yeah, it's alright cosmetic, but I don't think I'll get much use out of it, to be honest. Uh, that's just me, though. Not really my vibe. Does look good, but with the current loadout I'm rocking, doesn't really work, so we'll see. We'll maybe switch out the hat or just put this jacket on another loadout itself. But I do like it, so that is definitely staying. We've got a few styles as well. The off-duty, okay. That actually works a lot better. Okay, okay, that, that's all right. I like that. I can, I can rock with that. And the graveyard. Um, the graveyard. Nothing's, nothing's changed, I don't think. Yeah, it looks nice, actually. Um, we have to jig around a few loadouts to get this working on a loadout because I do like it but I just don't know where I can fit it. <laughs> now this is the loadout I think this cosmetic will go on so we'll replace the hot case. And you know what? Doesn't look too bad. I think we got rid of the mare mask. Yeah you can see that's a very solid pyro cosmetic. I think it works with the mare mask to be honest. I'm very happy with that. I think this is how the loadout's going to stay. We will put on the impacted paler as well. Yeah again it looks all right. It's got some styles. So we've got the style one and style two, which I think is just a style halom. Yep. 
Personally, I like it like this. I don't see a combination of World War One German and World War One allied British troop, but who's really splitting hairs over that. I think this looks like a very solid pyro loadout for MVM, and I'm going to keep it. It doesn't work like I was expecting, actually. I'm not actually a fan of it. It's this fucking orangey-yellow thing here that I don't like. That's the... That's the bit I don't like the most about it. If it didn't have that, I think it could be very solid. Not really a fan of that, to be honest. Honestly, looks nice. We've got patterned and we've got plain. Wouldn't plain just be the standard spy suit? Pretty much, yes. Like if we just... Strasbourg Scholar, spy suit. Okay, they're quite different, actually. I tell a lie. This is just a more HD spy, really. There's a nice spy cosmetic. I would like to get that worked in, but I don't think I can. To be honest, I'm just going to be real. I don't think I can get this cosmetic worked in. You know, it, again, it doesn't look too bad, but I just don't have a loadout I can really work that into, I don't think. Look at that. That's a very cool medic cosmetic. I think it actually works with the Cold Front Commander as well. That is not a bad loadout, actually. I might keep that as it is. It looks pretty solid. Oh, so he's got the Stogie in his hand. This actually looks... Hang on. This doesn't look too bad. A very solid looking loadout here. Look at this man. That's not bad. Oh, and he put the Stogie in his mouth. Lovely. And then... You can get rid of it all together. But I'm, 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 I'm a fan of the Stogie, but you know it, it looks good without it as well. But yeah, I'm very happy with how that cosmetic looks, to be fair. Yeah, no, nah, not really a fan of that. Oh, there's a Bloodless version, which looks better, actually. Back country. Okay, that's a bit more... That's a bit better, actually. That's, all, that's not bad. Back country Bloodless. I didn't even know there was blood on the first style streets. Okay, yep. Yeah. Also decent. I like what they've done here. They've took a Christmas cosmetic, but then made it so it also works outside of Christmas. And I think actually like this, it looks quite nice. You've done you've done well with your styles, mate. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Traditional Balkan hat, and then a very funny mustache. Which what more can you ask for, really? But yeah, that has been my unboxing. These are the spoils. Unfortunately, no unusual, but we did get the medic coat and the pyro coat and the engineer coat and the sniper coat and the engineer hair, which I'm very happy with. I think that's a dub for me, I'd say. So yeah, I'm going to rack my brains, think about some good loadouts I could cook up with these new cosmetics that I'm going to try and work in. But yeah, I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.